Ever wondered about the secret behind the strength of our bones and teeth? The answer lies in a naturally occurring mineral form of calcium apatite known as hydroxyapatite. Chemical formula is Ca5PO4 3OH, and it's often written as Ca10PO46 O2 to denote that the crystal unit cell comprises two entities. Hydroxyapatite is the hydroxyl end member of the complex apatite group. The OH ion can be replaced by fluoride or chloride, producing fluorapatite or chlorapatite. It crystallizes in the hexagonal crystal system. Pure hydroxyapatite powder is white, but naturally occurring. Apatites can also have brown, yellow, or green colorations, comparable to the discolorations of dental fluorosis. Nearly half the volume and 70% by weight of human bone is a modified form of hydroxyapatite, known as bone mineral. Carbonated calcium deficient hydroxyapatite is the main mineral of which dental enamel and dentin are composed. Hydroxyapatite crystals are also found in pathological calcifications, such as those found in breast tumors, as well as calcifications within the pineal gland and other structures of the brain known as corpora arenacea or brain sand. Hydroxyapatite can be synthesized via several methods, like wet chemical deposition, biomimetic deposition, sol gel root, or electrodeposition. Each technique yields hydroxyapatite crystals of varied characteristics, such as size and shape. These variations have a marked effect on the biological and mechanical properties of the compound, and therefore, these hydroxyapatite products have different clinical uses. Calcium-deficient hydroxyapatite has a KAP ratio between 1.67 and 1.5. The KAP ratio is often used in the discussion of calcium phosphate phases. Stoichiometric apatite K10PO46OH2 has a KAP ratio of 10,6, normally expressed as 1.67. The non-stoichiometric phases have a hydroxyapatite structure with cation vacancies and anion vacancies. The sites occupied solely by phosphate anions in stoichiometric hydroxyapatite are occupied by phosphate or hydrogen phosphate anions. Hydroxylapatite is present in bones and teeth. Bone is made primarily of HA crystals interspersed in a collagen matrix. 65 to 70 percent of the mass of bone is HA. Similarly, HA is 70 to 80 percent of the mass of dentin and enamel in teeth. In enamel, the matrix for HA is formed by amelogenins and enamelins instead of collagen. But it's not all good news. Hydroxylapatite deposits in tendons around joints result in the medical condition calcific tendinitis. Hydroxylapatite is also a constituent of calcium phosphate kidney stones. In a nutshell, hydroxyapatite plays a crucial role in the strength and structure of our bones and teeth. It's involved in certain pathological conditions and it can be synthesized for various clinical applications. It's one of the unsung heroes of the human body, working tirelessly to keep us strong and healthy.